Hello Monster 100, today I'm going to be showing you how to take a power supply unit from a computer and using it to power up a, a car audio amplifier. This is a 1000 watt amplifier, the HTG237. The box is right here by the Lanzar. The, the, amp, uh, the power supply I'm using RPSU is temporary as I'm showing you and I'm going to be changing out with this thousand watt uh, amp from full power. Okay, so first things first, other than knowing your power supply works, is you need to short out two wires on your 24 pin adapter. You need to take, there's two pins right here. You need to short out the third and fourth with the fa it's the uh, side with the pin the clip facing out like on the right side. Once you have that, there will be an image uh, that will be displaying that shows uh, that. Okay, once that, what I did is I ended up clipping off this so I could just tape this up without worrying anything. But um, on this, you have to take your yellow and black, which is on the side over here. This is what you will need. Your yellow will plug into your battery plus, and, your gr and the black will plug into your ground. Once you do do that, let me zoom in. As you can see, this is my battery plus, this is my ground, this is remote. I, the smartest thing, since this is temporary, um, is to put multiple reds in here. Since this power supply only came with, uh, since these are leads, I can't take, I have, if I take one off of this lead, it takes it off of this lead. I only had two of these leads with uh, this power supply. So I took those two wires, and because you don't want to put one wire in, if you do that, it will really get heat up and it'll like melt the plastic away, and that could be a fire hazard. So I put two into each one. Then you have to take one wire, as you did with shorting out the power supply motherboard connector. You have to short out the remote and battery by putting a wire into these two. And this simulates the car starting up. I put two. I have a blue one up here, and then there's a white one under it, so I don't uh, doesn't get that much heated up. Once you do that, your amp will end up turning on. My last recording video. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, and I'll try to answer them.